thanks for joining me today, gentlemen. Can you first uh, please uh, introduce yourselves and tell us uh, who you are and, and where you work? Certainly. I'm Brian Sack. I'm a technical solutions architect with Cisco Systems. Okay. Uh, Salman Sadullah, a distinguished engineer at Cisco Systems and fellow at IPv6 Forum. Nice, nice. Um, what I'm interested in talking about today is fog computing. And I think, you know, I'd like to have, first of all, a high-level overview. What is, what is fog computing? Okay. Why don't you start off? Yeah, certainly. So, fog computing is an extension of the cloud paradigm. Mm -hmm. It's taking that those concepts of the cloud, the flexibility, the agility, the uh, distributed nature, the yeah. compute network and storage, and, and moving that closer to where the devices are actually generating the data. Okay. So moving that cloud closer to the ground and you hence get fog. And Simon, what are the advantages of uh, moving the computing power a little bit closer to the source? Yeah, so uh, Bruce, if you really see the, 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 the amount of data which is being created uh, every day, right, and the, 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 uh, the a 2020 number, right? The 50 billion wow, uh, device yeah, is going to be right. connected, right? Yeah. <laughs> so think about this, that um, uh, what, what's going to happen with the bandwidth requirements? What's going to happen with the SLAs? How much delay is going to introduce if you start, you know, sending all of this data towards the cloud? So this is where, you know, this whole idea of fog computing started, that how mm -hmm. can I basically put some checks and balances a virtual wall around all the data before sending it towards the cloud. What are some of the things by quick uh, analysis I could do closer to the device and get that decision done instead of sending everything to the cloud? Yeah, well, give me some examples mm -hmm. of why would you want to do some computing a little bit closer to the cloud or to the, to the source? Yeah, certainly. So it introduces a couple of different elements. So first we can do we can push quality of service down a lot closer to where those devices are mm -hmm. generating data. Um, we can do security out there. We can also run applications. Nice. Because we have a full compute stack, we can run applications that are good at doing things like localized analytics. Or um, we could do uh, data optimization, so prioritizing data as it's traversing the WAN. Or the, so those type of elements are, are important you know, to, to be able to to deal with the scale and complexity that, that IoT introduces. Mm, sounds like a lot of advantages. Yep. That sounds a little too rosy. What are the disadvantages <laughs> of doing fog computing, just so we put things in, in perspective? Sure. So so uh, if you really see the fog com computing itself is sort of in, I would say, it's, it's, uh, right now it's pre-chasm, right? Yes. So once uh, the, the real thing comes into play that once you start to deploy these new technologies at scale, Right? So a lot of these, uh, uh, the scaling issues are still needs to be worked out. Mm -hmm. And this is where, you know, I think uh, we'll, we'll find more about that, how the technology is, uh, is going to roll out and get into that um, post-chasm phase, right? Once we start to see some of the bigger deployments of mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So we're, yeah, we're pretty early on in IoT. Um, yeah. Let's say we're at a 2 on IoT out of 10. Where are we on cloud <laughs> computing in IoT? I mean, you guys are getting pretty specialized already. I mean, um, I guess from mm -hmm. the deployments that you're involved in, Cisco's involved in, uh, what percentage is fog today? So, so basically, you know, I would say, like the number you said, we are from uh, the range of uh, the scale of 10, we are at 2 at um, IoT. So you could see that uh, the fog computing, the mm -hmm. idea of fog computing came once we got into this stage with IoT, okay. when people started to realize that, you know what, the number of devices which, will, which are going to be connected uh, on the internet or, you know, with the other protocols, uh, the, the, the data is staggering, the amount of data is staggering, so there will be scaling issues. There so that's be. why this uh, mm -hmm. a middle layer, right, mm -hmm. between the network and the cloud yeah. has been introduced, okay. right, to take care of that, uh, some of those scaling issues. Someone's looking at cloud, no cloud, uh, some parting advice, uh, first from you, Brian, then from Salman. Sure. What should they be considering, uh, cloud, no cloud? So, versus cloud versus fog, for instance, or? Sorry, fog, no yeah. fog. Fog, no fog, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so no, we're I, not clouding, we're fogging We're, right we're, now. we're fogging. Yeah. I think looking at the fog, you first have to identify what the scale of the number of devices that you have, the amount of data that you're generating, what sort of, uh, of ability to respond to incidents, what's your threshold there? Okay. And as some of those things increase, you know, the amount of data, 
the minimizing the amount of downtime that you can have or minimizing the reaction time do you have you have to an event mm -hmm. that's going to uh, push you towards that fog direction. Yeah, good advice. Someone, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, so basically being a technologist and uh, for over two decades, you know, looking into multiple technologies uh, uh, and how they kind of came, rolled out, and um, in a lot of cases disappeared as well. Uh, I would say, you know, I'm always sort of, um, uh, uh, always, uh, I don't like the words migration, I'm, I'm more with the integration and hybrid right. uh, approaches. It's more realistic. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I, I think you know this is what we're going to see with the fog as well, and and if things you know go well, you know who knows it's going to be all migration, but but I think it's going to be more uh, for the time uh, for the foreseeable future. I would see it's more about integration. It's more about um, hybrid um, uh, deployment models. All yeah. right. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, we're we're talking fog with Cisco, and uh, thanks for the enlightenment. Thanks Thank you. Well. Appreciate it.